tell us a story. It's nearly Christmas. We want this Christmas to be a good one. We're so excited. I've got the Christmas tunes on already. Please tell us a story. Please. Yes, please tell us a story. Please, please. Twas one Christmas morning. We didn't get much warning. We heard a mighty crash downstairs. We crept out of bed, clutching our teddy bears. Down the creaking stairs we trod, a tentative and nervous plod. And as we ventured down the stair, we couldn't see a thing down there. It could have been a nasty joke. We couldn't see the room for smoke. Oh my God! The room's on fire! I heard myself screaming higher and higher! We held each other tight and squealed, hoping the truth would soon be revealed. Then through the smoke, a flash of red. Perhaps we should have stayed in bed. Oh no, what was it? Who could it be? The smoke was still too thick to see. This flash of red, it kept on moving. Our situation was not improving. Then through the smoke, a cough, a wheeze, Saint Nick came crawling on his hands and knees. Santa, we cried, is it really you? Oh yes, he said. What am I to do? I'm feeling rather sore and rotten. I think I may have burnt my bottom. As he spoke, his eyes filled with tears. You weren't supposed to see me, my dears. I thought the fire had been put out. I didn't mean to scream and shout. Oh, Santa, we're so glad you've come. We're sorry to hear about your bum. As Rudolph's milk poured over his bottom, Santa sighed with relief as the pain was forgotten. OK, nice to see you all, but I must be off. Rudolph and the others are waiting aloft. I fear I've made a bit of a mess. When it comes to cleaning, I rarely impress. Now remember, next year, before to bed, put out the fire! Wear more layers instead. You are good children. I've been watching, you see. You will find your presence under the tree. And without further a word, or nod or sigh, Father Christmas, he vanished in the sky. Now each year and every Christmas after, we heed the words of our friendly father. And make sure the fire is quite put out to save St Nick from screaming out. And at every Christmas dinner time, we raise our glass and recite this rhyme. And now for a toast to Santa Claus, the man with the big hole in his drawers. <laughs>